every mass shooting, we just there's just silence and there's the prayers are offered, Easter baskets are offered, but no real solutions. And I'm a constitutional conservative. Believe it or not, you're hearing from a Republican Congresswoman, Nancy Mays from South Carolina, is calling out her GOP colleagues for refusing to do a damn thing in response to gun violence. Let's hear more of what she had to say on Fox News Sunday. Tell you, Shannon, about a week ago, my kids and I were a mile away from a mass shooting in South Carolina where six people were shot. We saw the immediate aftermath of that shooting, all the police cars and EMS. And the first thing my kids asked me in moments after that shooting, they said, hey, mommy, where is the Amber Alert to let us know that we're near a mass shooting and maybe we should have taken cover or maybe not left the house so that we could be safe? Now look, before we give Mace too much credit, I think we should listen to what her proposals are when it comes to gun reform, because it's pretty milk toast. But I also want to just mention quickly that there was, of course, more gun violence over the weekend. In America, there's gun violence literally every day. Two stories I want to highlight was a shooting that took place at an Alabama Sweet 16, where four individuals were shot and killed. Dozens of others were injured, 28 to be specific were injured. So there are also Several teens, five in critical condition, four are in stable condition. The remaining patients have been treated and released. Now, the United States has suffered more than 160 mass shootings in the first 16 weeks of this year alone. And that's according to the Gun Violence Archive, which defines mass shootings as those in which four or more people are shot, excluding the shooter. The point is mass shootings and senseless shootings like the one in Kentucky continue to happen on a regular basis. And while I commend Nancy Mays for wanting to do something about it, what she's proposing, what you're about to hear from her, I don't think goes far enough. Jenk, any thoughts before we get to the rest of her video? I wish Nancy Mays was genuine and and I wish that there were more moderate Republicans in the world so we can get back to some sort of sanity. But the reason we cover her is because it is such an unbelievable exception. When a Republican politician says something that is not insane, and that's probably in this category. No, that's absolutely right. In fact, in the context of the interview she had on Fox News Sunday, she said the quiet parts out loud. What's really motivating her more moderate position on gun reform? Let's watch. We want to bury our heads in the sand and hope that it goes away. But guess what? It's not going away. And I see it. I'm in a very purple district, even though I'm in South Carolina. Very purple district. Very purple district. (laughs) So understand what actually motivates these politicians. I think she's right in calling out the Republican Party for burying its head in the sand when it comes to gun violence. But remember, she's doing a balancing act here as well. While she's calling for gun reform, She's also offering up stuff that we've already heard from Republican lawmakers with a few tweaks. So without further ado, let's hear what she's proposing. It's not about the second amendment. There are plenty of things that we can be doing besides offering prayers and silence. Some sort of Amber Alert, for example, to let the community know there's been a shooting. Strengthening our background checks is something that the vast majority of Americans support. Hardening our schools, churches, and synagogues so that there is deterrence so that when a shooter or potential mass shooter enters a place that they know that maybe they're not going to make it through because there's bulletproof doors, bulletproof windows. Uh, you know, it, those kinds of common sense things are all things that every American on either side of the aisle can get behind. But yet, every time there's a mass shooting and they're increasing every year, every week, we just we don't say anything. Want to bury our heads in the sand and hope that it goes away. But guess what? It's not going away. And she's right, it's not going away. We keep experiencing these mass shootings, they're absolutely devastating. But what she is, again, proposing here, Amber Alerts. We don't have Amber Alerts when there's a mass shooting, but we find out about an active shooter pretty quickly, right? So I don't understand how an Amber Alert is gonna do anything to mitigate gun violence. You know, strengthening background checks, I'm obviously in favor of that. But then she goes to the typical Republican talking point about how we need to fortify our campuses. Maybe we start thinking about bulletproof glass instead of regular glass for windows and doors. Okay, but the root of the problem is the easy access to guns. How individuals who have no business buying these weapons are able to legally obtain them. 
Uh, so what are your thoughts, Cenk? It's a lot of marketing for her reelection campaign, but there's almost no substance. So uh, like Anna said, there's only one gun proposal in there, hardening our churches and synagogues. So hey, make sure you've got people with assault weapons outside of your churches and bulletproof windows in case people are shooting from the outside. But usually they walk into the church to murder everybody. So that's not really gonna help. It's just that's a nonsense proposal. So she okay, so bottom line is universal background checks. Wow, so you agreed with 97% of the American people. And no joke, that's what passes for bold these days in the Republican Party. What's the actual thing you should do? Every Republican politician is against gun control. She didn't mention assault weapons, she didn't mention red flags. These are also incredibly popular laws that would easily pass if we had a democracy. So why don't you throw the bums out? Why don't you throw out every single Republican and then you know what will happen? Yes, then you'll actually have gun control. But if you keep voting for Republicans, don't be surprised when they pass laws against gay people. And when they pass laws making guns even more readily available. And then we have even more mass shootings. That's what Republicans are in favor of. They say it to you all the time.